these are my children even though they don't have any names just call them planties they all respond to planties so it's like saying babies but it's planties boss 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 then it ain't a nine you touch that official boss boss Hi guys welcome back to another video so today you're joining me in my living room with my children I haven't named them to be honest but um, I call them planties so we're joined by my planties today a lot of people have been asking me for this video but I'm actually very self-conscious about my plants and this whole plant journey so I haven't shared it but now is the time you understand but before we get into all the details don't forget to follow me on all socials at tananya you understand like the video share with your friends and just go ahead and subscribe to my channel we are almost at 150,000 subscribers Woo! you understand so send the video as i was saying no guys i am very self-conscious about my plant journey because i was never really somebody who liked plants you know, mom, I always used to see my mother with her plant there, man. I used to wonder why she was so obsessed. And then, you know, when I moved on my own, she gave me a plant. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot keep this alive. I know some of you guys who have been following me from the longest time remember me always saying, I cannot keep living things alive. It is now crazy that I probably have 40 plants or more right now that are living, like, to be honest, since I started this journey, I've only killed three. RIP to you guys. I didn't mean it. I'm still learning. I have not learned completely like how to take care of everything, but I am pressing on and I found that it's something that I really love. But you know, I kind of feel like when I get older, so like older, you start gravitating to things that you never ever knew um you would have liked and i'm all for trying new things especially things we have to do with like home and nature and stuff like that so you know my plan journey is very one is one that's very personal to me but i think i started with that plant from where is it i think it's this one from decor by tiffany when i had just moved i think when she gave it to me it had maybe like two just two leaves on it. If you guys go back to my previous videos in the other apartment, you'd have seen it. Is it this one or this one? But she started me off with one plant and then I got like two more and then she gave me three and then I started to attend plant markets on my own and then I started to follow plant pages on Instagram and then we have this journey here. But she definitely started with a monstera, right? Um, I'm happy I didn't kill it. But like within the first week of me having it, I think I started over watering it which is like a common problem many people have. Cause you kind of always, a dirt, it look dry all the time. So you keep on a throw water in it and you keep on a feel like you need to do something to it. But I realized that when you leave the plants alone, like when they're just there chilling on their own, them kind of thrive more. So I'll go and I'll stick my finger in it and I'll water it when it's dry. But sometimes I forget and then they're there without water but plants are very receptive so you see them start drooping and stuff like that like one plant that i have that i know when it want water is this and it's called a peace lily like all the leaves start bending forward and yeah say oh i'm going over here so i just throw the water in it and within 20 minutes just turn it back like i'm sure if i were to put a camera on it you could have seen it like starts ease up and yeah say so what's your very sure girl each other kind of like it because each of them have that their own personality some of them require more light some of them require more water some don't want to touch them at all like this fig tree right here that girl there she don't want to do nothing with she so you see when she shift you shift she she start bend up and she start bend down and she do all sort of things it's like she's very spoiled she wants to stay in one place she doesn't want to be moved she doesn't like too much sun she doesn't like too much water like me literally just have a pass i'm a pass i'm gonna say you good dolly and I'm sure to go water in it. You understand? But for the most part, I stay far from watering them. I'll clean them every now and again. Like I bought a leaf shine on Amazon that makes them look very, very pretty when you like um, clean them off. Because I've read that when the leaves are dirty, they don't do photosynthesis very well. So you need to always keep the leaves clean and stuff like that. So it's basically a hobby. 
I don't feel like you have to invest in a plant if you don't have time to take care of them. And like I said, they're very receptive. So if you're in your house and you argue, the plant is not going to live. They are like bad energy. So if you're in your house and your spirit is not, not depend on up and up and you're not positive, the plant itself reflects what's going on with you. Very crazy. My mother used to tell me that too. I mean, I said, foolish to that talk. But I've learned that for myself for true. Like they are a reflection of what's going on around you. So... That means that since everything you saw bloom and them look pretty and them clean and nice and them well green, that mean you understand? Bay things are going for me. But um we don't know each other name. Some of them have some very funny names, but I can tell you the ones I do know. So yeah, this is a monster. Christian gave me this one. I think it's an elephant leaf or it's elephant ears. This is called a ZZ. Or some people call it a money tree, but then they have the Chinese money plant as well, so that's different. This is also as easy, but it's the raven version. So this is black, or I should say darker green than the other one. I showed you my fig, which is the bougie princess right here. This is another version of Monstera. I don't remember what it name, but it like I do the most since I got it, it just starts spring and do a lot of stuff. I have another ZZ here. This was from Mommy. This monster again was from Decor by Tiffany. This was a piece lily that I bought at a plant market that Jamaica Horticultural Society was keeping. I have this pretty pink one here, which is called a pink princess. This one I remember with me right now. Um, but if I can, if I go in my notes, I can tell you. But yeah, we'll have that. This is another elephant leaf from Christia. This is probably one of my favorite. I've killed one of these before. This one, you know, why you do nothing with it? Like, you just put it in the sun and leave it alone, you know, in the excitement. This is a rubber tree and it's very pretty, but it's kind of masculine. If you're a guy, you know, and you want to show your masculinity, but you still want to get some plants, definitely invest in a rubber tree. You will love it. The bigger it is, the nicer it will look for you as a man. This is a snake plant and I really recommend these for like in bedrooms and stuff because they say it will filter the air i don't have it in my bedroom clearly it's in my living room most of them are this one is a bird's nest fern christy has one big ugly one down her yard i swear it looks like one monster i never know this gonna grow so big like mom was telling me that these usually grow on trees but hers is like there by itself like it look like it like eat you and from that man i really like the plant here again from a cedar plant it really turned me off but i still have one with it so this is bird's nest this is a foxtail fern i almost killed this one I don't know. I never knew it needed that much sun. So it's the sun that makes this one so bushy. But big up to Nadisia's garden on Instagram. She helps me with any plant questions that I have. Um, let me see. This is a... Maybe I'm going to my phone now because I don't remember the name them come. So this one is a Swiss cheese plant. I think it's a version of a Monstera. Um, again, and I have another... What do you call it? Um, weird. Mother-in-law's tongue. That's the other name, but it's a snake plant. We have a Birkin, like the bag. This is a neon poster, so I have two of these. So I really love this because of the lime color and it kind of grow crazy, but it's in the pot here and I got seeds. So like when it starts to fall over, it does this. So yeah, that's a neon poster for you. I have two of those. This is a baby rubber plant. See, what may I tell you? They kind of see it at ease over water. I want water and I look at the egg over the pot right there. So water. I forgot to look at water and I want it done. This is a version of a cactus. I think it's called a zigzag cactus. Yeah, that's all. Then this crazy one up here is a spider plant so you see how it do the epa excitement and then these are like its babies so you can cut these off and put these in water and get another plant this is a watermelon peperomia it was much smaller when i got it but it's doing its thing and i realized that when you repot them into bigger pots they grow much much bigger me not remember this name i think this is a hoya yeah and the leaves are heart shaped and uh, this is a silver pothos. So the leaves are kind of wake up like velvety. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like so pretty. When you treat it really, really well. This is a what is name again? This is a, I think this one is a calathea, if I'm not mistaken. 
but you can comment below and let me know if I have it incorrectly. I think this one is a philodendron, guys. I really like the ones that grow crazy like this because I didn't pin them onto the bookshelf and I just get a little vibe from it. But I think the easiest plant to care if you're going to start off with a plant is probably the ZZ plant. So again, let me show you what it looks like. You could get this version, which is a version which is very, very common. This don't require nothing. I uh, two weeks ago, you know, they don't know with it. It's just over there. It can be now like a dark corner or you can put it towards the sun. It is a very low maintenance. So you could get that version or you could get the Raven version, but this version is very expensive because apparently they have to import this one. So I only have one of these while I have two of the normal ones. You understand? You could start with that one. You could start with the mother-in-law's tongue, which is the oh, spider plant. Oh, wait, name again. Snake. snake plant. Or you can start with the snake plant. That one too is easy. And like I said, if you want to put it in your bedroom and filter your air, you could do that. You could also try the elephant ears. But because Christian carried from country, I don't know which property is ever find this one. But this is very simple. I think it's actually an outside plant, but it does very well inside. As you can see, it grows so big. I'm gonna change the pot for this one and just done the wall of the place. Might as well just cover the wall in here with flowers and finish. May I want to put the flowers in for the wall and just have them just a creep and go. I mean that soon, very, very soon. You could try this one too if you're into smaller plants, but you kind of want to try something. This is a silver post, as I said. Doesn't require much. You just kind of leave it there. Um, give it a little sun every now and again and some water. I bought these plant lights on Amazon just to help because like I said, I have some in the corner, like in dark corners that won't get any light. And I use this in night. My already tell them to send me and JP as a friend. So me just working with them, I work with anything with them. Send me and me that come my plan in my flip. So I turn it on. You can use it like with two different modes. This is the one I use. I don't know which is the other one. I just read the people them said. Them use a the purple one and I use a purple one. But you see it has blue, it has red. You can set a timer on it if you want it to come on at a certain time. You can dim it. You can also turn the brightness up. It's all up to you and you can just clip it on to wherever you need it. You get me? Make sure so you plant them live a very long and healthy lifestyle. So I don't really fertilize them very often. I think since I've gotten them, which has been, what, two years? A year now? A year now. I've been on the journey since a year now and I've probably fertilized them twice. Again, I just saw my super Instagram. I'm going to just buy it from Amazon and try it. I'll link it again below. You guys can read up on it and see if you are interested. But they say they do grow bigger and look better the more you fertilize them. But you kind of put them like a, like a schedule. You can't say, I fertilize today and fertilize tomorrow. You have to fertilize like today and then you like out two months now for the fertilizer sinking. And then it push up some new growth and I do that. But I've realized that having plants in your home really adds peace to the space. Like greenery, especially with my decor with the gray and the black and the white, it really gets a little pop. You get me? I say, and when you come in here and you see plant, it kind of make you smile, you feel a little chirpier. I don't know, something about it. Say, so we get lonely at night time, I come out here, come and come plant them. You know, so I'm clean them up, I give them a little water. I'll talk to them if anything, do not think I'm crazy. It works. Just start your plant. Like, say, oh, my sister, you goodie. My gosh, you know, like, I'm gonna give me a new leaf. What? Mm -hmm. You want something to eat like that. You get me? And they do respond. Like I said, plants are very responsive. So if every day you come out to the plant and you say, oh, baby, you can't run me to nothing now of one. You don't want nobody to talk to you, so why you talk to the plants? So you get what I'm saying, guys? But again, this journey, as, as I told you before, is very personal to me. Like, very, very personal. These are my children, even though they don't have any names. Just call them planties. They all respond to planties. So it's like saying babies, but it's planties. You understand? So maybe one day later on, I'll name them. I'm not going to buy any more. Well, let me not say that. I'm not going to buy any more right now because my mother says I should learn the ones that I hear over there talk. She said I'm for maintain the one I'm going to have and learn them, make them grow big, and then I can add some more. So for right now, I'm easing off. I'm not going to say I'm not going to no more plant market because I'm going to have to see what is going on. And I'm going to have to see what is out there. And every now and again, I see something that I like. I'm going to kind of add it to my list and say, all right, then when I do start buying again, I'll buy. I don't think I'm done, like I said. I kind of want the olive in here to have like some trailing plants along the walls or, you know. I don't know, but we'll see where the journey takes us. Again, guys, if you're interested in getting plants, I've not turned back since I've gotten my first one. I've just continued adding. So I don't think it's that terrible, but you have to be invested in 
helping them live. And if you kill the plant, I say go. It's a learning process. Me now nah, say go by the plant and murder you. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying things happen sometime and it's a learning curve. Google where you are, Google. You understand? Ask people for help. You understand? They look at research, see what plant can work for you. People that they were invested in a plant and have 100. You probably can't only work with one plant. You don't know, you have to try it and see. So if you're interested in getting white pots like these ones, so they make a fancy one here, or the big white ones that like the monster rise in, or this one here that the Z is in, I'll also link these below. So they're really, really cute and you can detach the bottom so you can tell um, how much water you put in it if there's too much water. Also, I will link these plant risers or you could call it plant stands. So you can turn it this way if you want to plant short or this way if you want to give it a little bit of elevation. I'll also link that below because that's what I've added to them. If it's a small pot, you can shrink it and if it's a bigger pot, you can kind of open it up like this. So it really is made for any size. Again, I'll put them in the description box below. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you sharing this part of my life with me you understand it might look crazy but i feel good about it like putting all of them here so i say i wouldn't get some plant and this is not all of them and i'm wanting to know so i have more we just never want to take them off we just never want to take them off and put them in another video because i feel very shame when you see i'm over 100 plant and put them right just up here and i mean talk it through but if i plan this i want 55 plan i have if so or more Anyways, like this video guys, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!